Have you heard that uh, Targa is a total beast? I have heard it. And I've seen it as well. Oh. Have you heard that Targa really likes Ukraine? I've heard that because I was there. And I've seen it with my own eyes, man. It's true. Ukraine's a fun place. It really is. You can have a lot of fun in Ukraine. Anyway, Ben, go ahead and introduce our players. Have you heard that spawning in the top right-hand uh, corner... If you do that one more time, I really stand up and leave this broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually really annoyed. How annoyed are you? Are you as mad as Hasu? Yeah. <laughs> really. Now I know what Hasu goes through every single day of his life. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just really really sad, man, because I really want to cast Hawk against Sen. I was so excited for that series. I thought it was going to be awesome. And then instead, I have to cast Targa versus General, which is not bad, but this is something that I shouldn't have done today, Ben. My mind was ready for Hawk against Sam, for the awesomeness that is Hawk against Sam. When's the last Sam? time we got to cast PvZ together? Yeah, it's been it a little It feels while. like it's been ages, doesn't it? It's like all TVZ and PvT. Well, I mean, PvZ alone is like a cool matchup, but that's not the reason why I was so excited for that one. It's Hawk against Sam, man. How good well, is I was it? just saying. I mean, you play Protoss, I play Zerg. It's been a while. Yes, it's been a while. Why are you, why are you giving me the twirly wrist? What is this? Wh what is that? Talk us through the opening build orders of both of our players, man. Well, there's not really been anything at all. Talk happening. about the possibilities of TVZ and Shakura. It Shakuras. does look like Targa's going to go hatch first. And uh, and there you go. Jinro does have the gas. Probably going to be a Hellion opening, as is kind of the norm in the matchup. Jinro has shown a certain a certain proficiency with the Hellion play. He likes them. Mm. He so builds them. Once more, guys, this game wasn't shown on Sunday because we had some scheduling issues. Uh, first, General wasn't there, then Targa waited for quite a while, and then General was actually there. But then Targa said, yeah, I can't really play now anymore. I have to go to university in 20 minutes. So uh, one way or the other, J Targa could have got a default win, but he said, no, I don't want that. I'd rather just play the game when I come out of university. So that was very nice of Targa. He's an awesome guy, and that uh, doesn't show. And General obviously was happy with that as well. I haven't so heard about that. So they played uh, the game a little bit later. And yeah, that was uh, last Sunday, Division 5. Little gas steal heal here by Targa. I'm surprised that he was able to start that drone on the extractor, given that he's playing with 3G, connected wirelessly to yeah. the internet from a cell phone. If you guys missed the uh, broadcast we did between Targa and uh, MC, Targa had really a lot of lag in his first map, and he just kept lagging. And we're like, Targa, why, uh, why are you lagging so much? He's like, well, uh, the internet <laughs> via my phone yeah. is a little bit unstable You today. guys just saw it there. He went to cancel and restart the extractor, and the drone was just like, nope, peace and died. Now, uh, Jinro is going for the Hellion opening. Yeah, so we didn't really finish the story. Bottom line is, Targa actually plays via the internet connection via his phone, via 3G connection. From Australia, he plays games on the North American server. Kev, that's you are so mad right now. That's pretty impressive. What? Like, I, yeah, I can always tell you're mad because I look over and your ear turns really red. Yeah, I am mad. It's like the top of your ear is just like... I'm just disappointed, though. It's the color of our producer's bald spot. Bright red. Yeah, I went there. All right, guys, we see Jinro having the reactor on the factory, and we have the command center over here on the left top side. <laughs> so Jinro is going uh, for reactor expand, or Hellion expand, for his pretty standard build on Shakura's Plateau. <laughs> Following up with a tech lab on his barracks. Uh, for Stem, for a Marauder, if he, if he were to face some sort of roach aggression. Of course, that's not the, uh, what we're going to be seeing here. Targa's just playing uh, very, very normal stuff. Now, it's should be noted that the this game was played prior to the queen change. Yes. So these queens will still be punching with their antenna versus shooting their little chic darts. Which makes a world of difference, of course. It does. As we saw in the previous best three with Vibe. Uh, s let's talk a little bit about these plays so far before we see the first Hellion harassment of Jinro. Jinro's 0-3 in the season before this game is played. And that kind of is like not really the way that he has been playing because he actually played pretty damn well so far in the NHL. Targa, on the other hand, was... Um, what was Targa? 1-2. Yes, Targa is 1-2. Having beaten Sheth, losing to MC and to... Ooh, I don't know who else he lost to, Kev. A QXC. Targa That's lost right. in the first week against QXC. That's right. But Targa has played very well as well, so despite both these guys sort of being at the bottom of the rankings, he's played some excellent... Uh, Styles, and I'm very curious to see. I mean, if Targa would win this series, he would actually go up 2-2, which is a lot better uh, than the 0-2 start or 1-3, yeah. uh, for instance. 2-2 would be quite reasonable. In, in a solid position for playoff berth. Doesn't guarantee his making it into the playoffs, no, but uh, makes, it, makes it possible. 
Um, Faga is still on two base. He's not playing as risky as Vipe is, of course, as you already pointed out. This game has been played prior to the uh, queen change, which makes a lot of difference. Then again, on Shakuras, it would still be pretty hard and risky, even with the new queen. Juno looks like he just wants to follow this up with some standard marine tank play. And uh, Targa is doing what I love to see. He's getting a Baneling Nest, and this is so, so good. I think in today's metagame, Banelings are so neglected. And I'm very glad to see Targa getting that Baneling Nest down. I, th I think there are so many timings in this metagame of Triple Orbital Terran that, that Baneling play can be exploited. These queens take a lot of damage, but uh, at least they bought a little bit of time for Targa. Targa is on double evolution chamber or single. He's actually on single evolution chamber. Right now he's upgrading his main hatch to layer. And um, that's really all he's doing. Trying to get some creep going, but it's tough with those Hellions standing at the cusp. A few Zerglings in production. Targa probably going to try to run down and surround Jinro's Hellions, but there's six of them there, so he's got to be very careful about how he engages. Yeah, then again, he feels quite safe on his ramp right now. He's 12 workers ahead, so that's a... Uh, a healthy lead in this phase of the game, certainly right now when he has this uh, macro hatch going as well. He can still produce a lot of drones in a short amount of time. He's gonna do... For a second I thought he was gonna try to surround those aliens, but not yet. Sends one lonely scouting wing to get roasted. Hellions General's doing the alien death. Control. Not bad. Man. Those aliens, they've got a very tight turn radius. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna have that car, man. How cool would that be if you could drive like in a straight lane, whoop, all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> it's like instantly. Oh yeah. Juno is going to have two medifacts out as well. Steam has been Man. ready for quite a while. And Combat Shield is almost ready too. So I think he's going to try to at least put some serious pressure on Targa with a uh, two base play. Then again, Targa seems sort of prepared for this. I don't think he's... Well, he's on 50 drones right now. He's getting three more. But he's also producing a lot of links. And he has that bailing nest. Yeah, Aspire's also gone down. So we will be seeing some mutas out of Targa. Would be nice to see at least a couple of bailings right now, Targa. You can really use those against the first Marines. Which are coming yeah, of course, he has no idea that it's coming. Because he's got no vision. Jinro's been so good with the Hellions this game. Denying creep spread. And they're just keeping Targa in the dark. Finally, the Marines show up with those medevacs. And Targa, if you're going to hold here, I don't know how it's going to happen. It's going to be very tough. Oh, he's just going to go for it. Lings come streaming down. Uh, oh, actually, Jinro lifts up all of his Marines and uh, gets his really Hellions that surrounded. Do you think that was necessary? Uh, I don't think it was. I think 16 stemmed Marines could have made that a much closer fight. But Certainly with those Hellions backing them up. I actually thought that engagement wasn't all that great for Tar because he didn't swarm Jinro straight away. Jinro does have a wall over here. So it's going to be fine for now. Jinro's going to mm. have to repair the bunker. I kind of worry. I think if Targa were to just go for a bust, he could maybe win the game. There's no siege tanks, Kevin. This is what I was talking about earlier, one of those exploitable Whoa, times. Oh, that's a lot of baiting. Jinro might... Uh, he's not going to scout it. Oh, I don't think... I, I just... I really don't think there's any way Jinro holds here. Baneling speed... May not finish. Targa yeah. might might wait for it. It's about 20 seconds away. Siege tanks are nowhere near ready. Jinro is gonna not. This is gonna be so hard for Jinro. Uh, almost impossible. Bunker immediately just evaporates. Baneling's gonna come give chase. Uh, Zerglings just surround and decimate everything. Now the Baneling speed finishes. Everything in the natural is definitely dead. Uh, he's only blowing up. He's blowing up one deploy so with people so far. Do we have any additional Banelings? No, we uh, don't. There's three down in the natural, but. Uh, the he stays be alive. alive. Uh, he, yeah, he stays alive, but he's, he's I would hardly call it alive. He's down almost 50 supply. He's lost depots. He's lost units. He's lost economy. He's in triple orbital, though. If there's any way to come back, Cass would feel he's ahead right now. That's true. That's true. This is a one game for Cass. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> it's a running joke, by the way, guys. The Ukrainian player Cass somehow always ends up with like seven SCVs against the Zerg, who has 40 drones. And we've casted three games of Cas where he won them all three. Yeah, he'd be like, get out of my game. <laughs> as long as I'm on Triple Orbital, Cas wins. <laughs> Cas only has one challenge in the game, that's getting to Triple Orbital. Targa could seriously just continue trying to bust, and there'd be nothing General could do about it. Still doesn't have, well, he's got a single tank, but Siege Mode, not ready yet. There is a drop in the back of Targa's natural that he's going to have to try to run back and clean up. We have a couple of Mutas there. Where are those two Mutas? Oh, yeah, yeah. no idea. Single Muta. He's chilling. <laughs> It's going to take a little while. Plop. Like I saw my friends Plop. do this too. <laughs> it was a lot easier. Well, we with many. Where does the glaive come from? I mean, honestly, is that just like a mutilisk turd? Our guy's going to bring a lot of links as well. So these mutas are still going to try to work on this meta. Fact, uh, Jinro is doing this oh, really nice, oh, by the way. Oh. Oh, Jinro is going to be able to pick up both meta, both mutilists. Still keeps the dropship alive. That's actually Man, Targus, a very, very good split play. up your links, dude, just yeah. one time. <laughs> oh, no, let's run them all back. Now he's, take, he's, he's 
gotten the memo. Wow, how much time Jinder saved with this single medevac is almost insane. Bainings uh, rolling in right now, so he's finally gonna lose those few marines. But at least he bought a ton of time for himself. Obviously he has a lot of energy as well and all those orbitals. And his economy ban is gonna be better than the one of Targa. Wow. Yeah, once he starts dropping these mules it will be. And uh, he gives up to 1,300 mils per minute. Second trip's gonna take him up to 1,700 minerals. Trip, trip. Can okay, he hit 2K? I think he will. Yeah, I think he will because now the STVs are actually mining too. 2,000 minerals. Man, mules are pretty good, Kev. Mules are good, but the mutilist count is slowly but steadily getting higher as well. We have eight mutas on the map right now. Two more mutas are on the way. We have another dropship as well from Jinro over here on the north side. Uh, but Jinro is sort of prepared. He has a couple of missed turrets up. Uh, he's still in such a tough spot. Targa is able to add a lot of drones. He's got complete wow. map control, and as Targa. long as he doesn't take huge damage from a drop. Targa is playing so well in the NASL. I'm really surprised. He's keeping uh, pride up for down under. And for, uh, and for Norway. Yeah, don't for Norway, forget. For, no, I would never forget. The Norwegians get really mad when you don't consider Targa as being... Uh, Targa has been an uh, essential part of the Norwegian trolling scene for the past five years in <laughs> Targa is like one of those guys on forums that you should not take serious. Actually, in Stargraf 2, he really calmed down. When in Warcraft 3, he was such a big troll. He never posted anything serious. Targa and Snoot are like the... Uh I think Targa is pretty close to Snoot. I mean, Snoot is getting a lot of hype, but I feel Targa is often overlooked. But, I mean, Snoot won the Ono game station, of course. Well, we have a decent drop going on over here from uh, Jinro, but he's going to end up losing these Marines as well. Careful uh, with those control, Mutalists. Targa, keeping the Mutas alive. We'll clean up the Medivac. We'll take minimal losses to this drop. He lost one uh, additional meter right there because he was focusing on it. But don't you think that Targa is not really getting any recognition while playing on a very respectable level? While Snoot is getting a lot of hype as super talent and oh, the player to watch for 2012. I, I would agree with that wholeheartedly were it not for the fact that every time Targa plays, there seems to be a thread made about him on Team Liquid. Why? I don't know, man, but it, mm, without fail, every week there's a new Targa thread. Why? Uh, did they just post about him playing in ASL? Somewhere he's got like a super fan. <laughs> oh yeah, he just, man. Okay, he just, when I was starting Targa giving some props, he started uh, sacrificing Mutalis for the oh, he was just, charity. He just, you know, he was, they were scouting Mutalis. He just sent extras because he yeah. knew they wouldn't get that far by themselves. And then he sent two uh, overlords as well just to uh, idle above General's base. But no, I feel the Targa... I mean, in the Western scene, a lot of people would even forget that he's an active player and that he's good, but he is good. He's very good. And uh, the, the thing that really, uh, I mean, we already talked about it a little bit, but the thing that always blows me away is the fact that this kid is literally playing on a laptop, connected to a cell phone, <laughs> which is connected to the internet via a 3G connection. Yeah, put this guy in the Startail house and he's going to be the best player in the world. In <laughs> Australia, connected <laughs> to North America. I mean, everything, like every, every card is stacked against this guy. <laughs> it's like... All right, Targa. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play a game. Draw a card. High card wins. Targa draws a three. <laughs> a two. Targa draws the Joker. Disqualified. <laughs> That's probably Targa's luck. Targa draws a three, but little do we know, there's 51 twos left in the deck. Why? That means he's getting lucky. He's no, I'm saying that like you, the cards are stacked. Never mind. I thought it was a good. I thought it was a good comparison. Mutas kill a single turret before getting chased away by the other five. Targa's getting a lot of Bainix now as well. His fourth base, uh, actually his fifth base right now is getting some decent saturation. I love how he protected this already, doesn't want to worry about drops later on. Uh, we do not have that many, well, uh, 15 middle is on the map Targa right now. Targa seriously likes the whole uh, one control group mentality. Whack of three players, bro. 192 units on one control group. That's how we roll. 198. <laughs> <laughs> and it uh, looks like he is gearing up for a big attack here. Jinro has four siege tanks, and I don't think that's going to be enough, Kev. I don't think it's gonna be enough, Kev. Here we go. Here comes Targa. Banelings gonna roll into the Marines. Zerglings coming from multiple angles. Muta's also in force. Wow. And uh, 198 units on one hotkey was the correct amount as Jinro's army melts away. And Targa crashes not just into the third base, but also through the natural, cleaning up just about everything Jinro has. Wow, still a couple of veilings around. I mean, Jinro is trying to micro for his dear life, but Targa just has an insane amount of units. Here. And here comes the Infester, Kev. Here comes the Infester. Where is that money fungal, man? And <laughs> money it's fungal? going to... Oh. 
Oh, oh nails it. <laughs> Not bad. And Yvesser is still alive as well. Thanks for trying to kill the hero. <laughs> he drops the oh. infested Terran yeah. before he goes down. Man, that was the one worth the infested. Jinro calls GG. Torga wins the first map against Jinro as well. That's, man, this guy. He's got a winning smile and one massive bicep. Oh, I think he has two massive biceps. But well, you wouldn't know it by that picture. No, because the one bicep is so big that it covers the other bicep. And it's closer to the camera, so it blocks. <laughs> That game was brought to you guys by um, I Buy Power. I Buy Power sponsored that game. They make performance gaming computers. You can check them out at iBuyPower.com and order your own I Buy Power PC. They're pretty slick.